Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy Fed Elf. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another card for the Scrappy Tales design team. This is the Rose Petal stamp set and I'm using the roses in the vase. Before I forget, Sabrina has extended an offer for 10% off anything in the store. I will have the code in the description box below along with a direct link to this stamp set. Now this stamp set does have coordinating dies. I didn't pick them up because I wanted some other dies. So if you're interested in those, you'll be able to find that there is a bundle. So you can see there peeking off to the left, that is the sheet of pattern paper I've decided to use for today's card. And I wanted a, something really bright. You guys know that about me. <laughs> That's not a secret, right? So I decided to go with RV09, RV06, and RV04. What you saw in my cup was actually bone broth. This was the, I filmed this on Saturday, which was the end of my 21 day water fast. And I was slowly breaking my fast with a liquid before I moved on to solid food. And that's why it looks, it doesn't look like coffee because it's not. <laughs> so these floral, these flowers actually really easy to color. Um, I believe Sabrina and her mom illustrated all the stamps in this release. So they gave us the lines for where it would be the most dark on the petals. So I'm just coloring darkest to light lightest and then lightest to darkest. You guys know how I like to do. And yeah, so hope you guys are doing well. I um, I was gone last week. I think I talk about it more in the video you're going to see on Wednesday. But I, like I said, I've been fasting for the last 21 days and I have basically been in an RA flare for the past three weeks, um, which means if you're unfamiliar, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, which is an autoimmune disease, which is basically a lot of inflammation. And so I've been dealing with a lot of inflammation, but there are two things that are side effects that RA that a lot of people don't realize. And one of them is called RA fatigue. And boy, did I have that last week. I mean, I, I was taking a four hour nap every afternoon last week um, just because of it. And then there's also, you get a brain fog. And so I'm dealing with a little bit of that. So if I stumble over my words or something, I hope you will forgive me. But that's that's why I was gone. I'm not going to apologize for it because I'm trying not to do that. I can't help it if I'm sick or in a flare. So, but thank you guys for having patience with me. So yes, on Wednesday, you will see a haul. If you follow me on either my Facebook group or on um, the Facebook page, you got a sneak peek at one of the stamp sets because it's hilarious. It's so funny. In fact, in the middle of the video talking about that stamp set and reading the sentiments, I about bust a gut laughing. I mean, it was just that funny. Oh, I love it. I can't wait for you guys um, to see it. So here, <laughs> I'm bringing in a piece of washi tape because the cap for RV06 and RV04 are very, very close in color. And I got tired of picking up the markers and having to look at the lid to see which marker I was using to color. So that's why you see me wrap it in washi tape because I was really getting, starting to get frustrated with myself. I'm like, okay, all right, I can't see what's going on. Thank you to everyone who purchased during my card sale. I really appreciate it. This card will be up for sale um, at some point this week. All the other Valentine's Day cards that you've seen me make so far are also up for sale uh, or up listed. They're not on sale, but they're listed. The sale ended on the 24th. But thank you guys so much for everyone who bought. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this last flower and then I'm going to go ahead and move on. If you're interested in watching all of the coloring, make sure you check back here on Saturday. Saturdays, I normally post the real-time coloring videos from whatever I've colored that week. So feel free to stop back by. I really, I would appreciate it. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Be sure that you hit the subscribe button, click like, leave a comment, all of those things. Um, I'd love to have you. I'm getting super close to 500 members in my Facebook group, and we're going to have a stamp and jam a party once that happens. So if you haven't joined yet, all of those links are in the description box down below. 
So here is what it looks like um, with all of them colored. So I moved on to coloring the leaves. Initially, I started out with Y07, Y05, and Y01, and then my Y05 marker kind of lost its brain. I don't know what happened. You can see there, like a lot of ink started coming on out of it. Um, I think I'll probably have to pick up a nib um, to fix it because it had plenty of ink. The problem was I had way too much ink. But I'm just starting darkest to lightest and moving on up trying to keep the lightest at the very tip but you can see here I gave up on it because I'm like it's it's messing up my coloring and I was not about <laughs> to start this this picture over because of one Copic marker I was like you will not win this fight Copic marker you will not win <laughs> anywho so yeah just coloring all the leaves I colored this a leaf and then I thought wait a minute is that a of petal but I honestly think it was a leaf I just went I just went with it because it's on the inside of the vase it's not like you're going to be able to see it anyway so your question of the day is what is your favorite color of roses if you know me you know what I'm going to say sterling silver they're very beautiful like a light purple lilac color they're gorgeous I love purple roses I mean I love all flowers Rob picked up um, when he goes to Costco, which we do about every two weeks, I have him pick up um, some flowers because I love having fresh flowers and we love Costco flowers. We've never had an issue with them. And so I was like, you can bring home something other than purple. And so he brought home, I think it was red and peach. Oh, so pretty. So I am coloring the vase here with some aquas. I'm just leaving this spot on the right hand side that's where I want to kind of have my reflection so I am darkening up the areas around it and my darkest area are underneath the leaves that way it looks like and they're actually on top of the vase and again and now I'm going to bring in my lightest color a little bit later you're not going to see this I think I don't think I filmed it but I'm going to come back in with the color of splendor and um, back that color back even more. I didn't, I wasn't sure where to put the light source for this. Like I, you guys know that's one of my least favorite things about coloring is try to figure out a light source. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and fussy cut that out and then I added um, foam strips to the back. This is that um, mounting tape, scotch mounting tape from, um, I get mine on Amazon, but um yeah, I didn't, this was a big area and I was like, Misty, you're not laying down 5,000 little dots. We're not going to do it. <laughs> My body said, no, 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 Misty, no. And that's when I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure I'm down, done with broom broth. <laughs> like I'm, I was not hungry anymore. So yeah. So this is a pattern paper I want, wanted to use. And um, this comes from, I think it's called Love Letters from PhotoPay. But like I said, I have a pretty big haul for you guys on Wednesday. So make sure you come back for that. Um, I'm also waiting to mail the giveaway winners pr prizes. I'm sorry that you haven't gotten them yet, but I had to buy them first. And then I had to wait and I have to wait until we get paid again so I can ship them out. Because shipping 12 at $4 a piece isn't very cheap. I mean, maybe it is kind of cheap. I don't know. Again, brain fog. <laughs> so here I am debating on what sentiment I want. And then I'm trying to decide what cardstock I want to be as the um, card base. Now you're not going to see much of it, like only an eighth of an inch is going to show. But it was really important to me that it popped and I really liked it. This is um, Coastal Cabana and that's Bermuda Bay, but I ended up going with Melon Mambo in the end because I just love the way that black pops on that pink or the pink, no, the black pops on the pink. So once I get that figured out, I'm going to go ahead and cut down this paper to a four and a quarter by 11. I'm going to score it at five and a half. And we're going to make a top loading card. <laughs> and then I went ahead and cut down a piece of white to four by five and a quarter. I apologize that you can't see it. Um, but I'm telling you the measurements. So yeah. So I've had several people reach out to me about if I was going to offer any more beginner classes. And I will. Um, I just have to sit down and get them planned. Um, January went by so 
so quickly for me. But I will be offering um, paid classes, but then I'll also be offering free tutorials here on YouTube as I normally do. So that will be um, coming soon, so keep an eye out on that. I'm also considering offering one-on-one -on -one classes. You guys will have to let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. It doesn't even have to be a class. It could just be a one-on-one -on -one hangout via Zoom or Facebook uh Facebook. I don't know what else is going to say to that. <laughs> Oy, brain. Gosh, darn it, guys. Brain fog. It's real. I hate it. I see my rheumatologist on the 8th and I'm getting, I'm starting in Nebril. I was taking Humira, but the Humira was bothering my blood sugar. So I stopped taking it. And so now she's putting my, me on a Nebril. So I decided I didn't want to use blue. I wanted to use the screen for the sentiment. So I'm bringing in the um, Have a Rosy Day. And I'm going to be heat embossing that. So I'm going to be bringing in an embossing buddy, which is just a powder poof filled with talcum powder. Um, you can use baby powder too if you have that lying around. Um, or even an O dryer sheet will work. So, and I'm using Versamark ink. I'm sorry that I'm off frame here. I'd completely forgotten that I'd taken off um, the washi tape that was like my guard. <laughs> so I, I put down washi tape that was my guard so I could um, make sure that I'm staying in frame. But I forgot I took that off and I didn't realize it until like after I filmed this video. So I apologize for that. I am bringing in some black sparkly embossing powder. And then I am going to bring in my embossing tool. So you'll need a heat tool. And I am using the one from Stampin' Up. I am no longer affiliated with Stampin' Up, but I do enjoy some of their tools. So I'm going to heat this until it's shiny and melted. The problem with this embossing powder is it's kind of hard to see. So I made a mistake and I'm leaving it in so you guys can see and you can learn from me. Wait until your embossing powder has cooled down to rub on it because I didn't, and you guys saw that I had smeared it, so I had to re stamp it, re powder it, re melt it, and we're good to go. So I am leaving the side that is going to be touching the vase um, open for regular adhesive, and then the rest of the sentiment is going to go on the card. And then I decide that I want to cut the sentiment. And again, I apologize that this is a lot of this is off frame. So I kind of angle it and then I cut off the other end. And now this is when I realize uh, that and then, then I put some washi tape down. But I'm bringing in these um, enamel dots. I'm bringing in this pretty blue. And then I'm going to bring in my Nouveau Shimmer Pen for this. Or for Shimmer. Duh. It's Sorry. <laughs> Again, brain fog. I'm sorry. I was looking for my... I'm like, why am I moving stuff around? I forgot I couldn't find my Nouveau Drops. So I'm just bringing the Shimmer Pen. And there you can see that like it's all janky. I don't know what I did, but clearly I jammed it in there. But I wanted to bring in these drops. And I slowed this real, um, way far down because I wanted it to look like there was water droplets on the roses. So these are the clear drops. And I think I'm adding two to one and three to another and two to another. Just so that they're... Um, odd and not even. You guys know I like to do things in odd numbers. And once I get those on, then that is it for this card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to answer the question of the day because all videos will have a question, but not every question will correspond to a video. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for holding out for me. I love your faces and I'll see you Wednesday for the next video. Bye for now.